guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashi Adani, and for today's video, we're reviewing Shark Tank Season 3 products. So let's get started. Let's start with product number one, which I am quite excited about. We've got the All Eyes on You Pop Eyeliners from the brand LET, which is a teen uh, centric Gen Z brand. And uh, I did see their pitch. It looked quite interesting, especially the purple liner, which they said was their best seller. So I obviously had to get the purple liner. So the claims are that they are dermatologically tested, cruelty free, vegan, safe, paraben and sulfate free, and there are no harmful chemicals. Um, the packaging looks pretty interesting, very young, but it's also looking a little cheap to me. I'm not sure. I don't. I think it's the drawing on it, but it does look a little cheap and the name is also wearing off a little bit the applicator looks good let's try it out oh, wow that's very vibrant which i am very happy about because most of these liners don't colored liners especially pastel shades don't show up but this looks very good the tip is also quite good it's easy to use not a problem over there at all that was nice and I think it looks quite pretty. Next, I've got a perfume from the brand Adil Kadri. It's Oud Al Hashmi. The packaging is very fancy, you guys, like 100 points on that. This tiny little bottle. Uh, let's open it. Not sure how to open it. I'll have to remove the stopper and add the roll on that they've given separately in the packaging. Let's try it. I got blue because I love like blue smelling perfumes that are fresh, that are uh, refreshing like the waves and the like they smell like a vacation. The roller is not working. I'm not getting any product, but I am getting some kind of smell. I can't see much product, but I can definitely smell it. It does not smell like anything I imagined it to smell, which is my prop, which is my fault probably. I can only smell like musk and a very strong perfume smell. There is no notes that I could tell. There's no, maybe some sandalwood, I guess. Yeah. Oh, finally, we I can see some product. Yeah, there might be some sandalwood, but there's a lot of musk and I wish I could describe this better but I am not a fan of the smell because it makes me smell like I am like I am a man in my mid 40s like that is the kind of smell I'm getting it's not young or fresh or anything that I would like so probably a pass from my side. Next we've got the House of Beauty Instant Filler Dissolvable Patches. Now this is supposed to be used overnight. So I already used this product last night and here's my review. Alright, so it's the night before the shoot. I've gotten the instant eye filler with me right here. I got it from Amazon. I'm just gonna open it today because I read that it's supposed to be overnight and I wanted my thoughts to be collected when I film this video tomorrow. I'm gonna open one packet. So there are micro needles in this thing which is supposed to basically do the filler effect. I'm really scared actually. Peel off the back sticker and try not to touch. I'm gonna place it right under my eyes. I don't know why sticking off. Like it would make more sense for me to put the needles. Oh no, this also pricks. Oh my god. That's a mighty uncomfortable feeling. I don't know how I will sleep with a sticker on my eyes. This is the center part that you're not supposed to touch. But I did touch it in this eye. I will be very careful for the other eye. Oh, I can feel the needles. Oh my god. Before you have seen it in the video, now I'm gonna sleep with this or you're supposed to leave it on overnight or for six hours so it is 10 23 pm right now i can i think i'm gonna leave this overnight only now and check in with you guys tomorrow just wanted to give you guys a close-up of what this looks like it's not a very flattering angle for me but yeah this is what it's looking like good morning guys let's see it was a little uncomfortable to sleep and not gonna lie 
but the good news is that it's been over 10 hours now since i have put this on and the needles definitely feel melted yeah the needles are super super flat and there is silicone here that is coming off i'll just take a video of that later do we feel any difference i can feel like the sticker has created a mark which i'm not happy about and i hope it goes soon puffiness is there dark circles are also very much there so um, i don't know let me think about it a little bit so the scarring did go away in about an hour or so it settled down but i have been shooting all day and i keep looking at myself in the mirror or in the camera and i've not felt like it did something or that my eyes were looking even a tiny bit different because trust me on camera you can pick it up and my eyes look the same so um again i feel like maybe long term use would help but for dark circles i don't think don't see how this is working maybe for um after a longer period you'll be able to see better results but a one-time thing doesn't seem to be cutting it for me next we've got the cinnamon kitchen i've called for their uh, very famous brownies uh, and i'm very excited for it Ooh. so this has almond butter vegan dark chocolate homemade hazelnut praline and dates man i've just realized how hungry i've been <laughs> after seeing food so you do get five pieces of fudge in each packet so we have 10 fudge pieces now so you get it in this little thing it has a white marking on it. it I, I'm just hoping it's sugar. Hmm. It's bitter. But like dark chocolate wala bitter, so I'm okay with it. Very chewy, like a fudge. There's something crunchy also inside, which is probably the almonds. Hmm. No, I don't love it i like i'm not even gonna be able to finish this i'm not a fan of it it doesn't feel indulgent when i see a piece of fudge when i'm eating it i expect it to fulfill a craving and it's just not doing that for me it's not it's quite bitter so if you're someone who doesn't like dark chocolate you're not gonna like it i love dark chocolate and i still found this a little too bitter for me not for me but definitely for people who like healthy options i can go out there and eat unhealthy options but if you're someone who needs healthier options i think you can try one box and see if you like it i'm out speaking of food now this was not originally a part of my video but i saw the episode last night only where cosmics had come to the tank and i got so excited because i already used this like this I have been using for the past six months, I've been using their gut health powder. If you see a couple of my YouTube shots also where I'm doing what I eat in a day, you'll see I start my health with a gut health juice and that is this. It's then my happy gut plant-based supplement. It really helps with acidity, it helps with gas, it helps with digestion and any and every gut health problem like I find it relieving with this product. It tastes a little earthy, it tastes a little bitter, a little bit and then mostly after a point you can't taste anything like you're just having water almost. I just got really excited so I had to share it with you guys uh, that it's totally worth the money and I am a loyal customer. And lastly we've got something from Kala Kram. So I wanted to get myself a painting kit. This is their kettle. Um, painting kit and uh, let's see what all we have inside you get these pieces right here which are things you can paint on the kettle i believe you get the accessories kit which has paints and the paint brush we have more paint over here the kettle and the lid I'm going to bring you guys a little closer so we can do this together. Use a pencil to trace the design. Do not apply extra pressure while tracing. So we we'll take our carbon paper. I'm gonna draw this right here. It's not big enough you guys. Like the painting is too big. 
I'm taking my Shark Tank Season 2 product, Recode Cosmetics, and drawing the painting. I've just realized I suck at arts. Even though I love makeup and I'm so good at graphic makeup, I suck at art. Because I'm unable to draw on the same line. Let's see. <gasps> we are getting it. We are getting somewhere. I think this much is fine. Let's start by painting just this much. I'm not gonna lie. I am quite enjoying myself when I'm doing this. It's a nice distraction. I'm not gonna lie guys, this does not look good, but I'm going to take complete ownership for it because it is my fault that I'm not good at art. But it's also good that I'm getting to practice art and get better at it. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna paint her face. We've got other colors right here in front of us. So I'm gonna start with this peach color. We've got some peach color. Paint her little face. <gasps> wow. I'm actually doing it, guys. Why does she look a little cockeyed? I believe it's my fault only, but never know. Now I'm gonna go into some brown and give her brown eyebrows and massa. I don't like the brushes. Like, I feel like my makeup brushes are far more. Totally created a disaster. But I'm going art me guys. A milta tha. I'm an elementary intermediate student. I've also gotten an A in that. What they don't tell you is that when you're learning, you can get good, but then you can forget how to hold a brush also. Well, that's no good. So, this is what we finally have. It's not good. It's not my best work. I apologize. But I did have quite a lot of fun doing it and I would definitely order a couple of these. Probably not on a kettle, maybe something on a coaster or something like that because they have all those options for a... which is not so intricate so that you can do it with your friends while being stressed about perfection over here. So uh, yeah, this one's a thumbs up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, comment below and let me know which of these products you'd like to try. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye.